Michael, so you can still hand slip out. Hi, I'm Mark yeah, so we had just had a little conversation about uh, not necessarily about you guys being out here protesting. Just explain to me the history, which we, of course all of us know. No, yeah. well, this is we know you guys are here. Yeah. We go out to Lark. We appreciate that you guys are first in the yeah, I mean, what's good for you is good for me because if I want to do it to another establishment, I, it's great. Right? That's what we should be able to do. So, um, what she talked to me about is that she expressed her genuine concern about not necessarily the pamphlet itself, but she has some concerns because it, it seems as though it's put out by the difference between us and not. I don't think there's anything that I can do. They, and you know what, when we first made it, they brought up those concerns and I addressed them and I redid it. And they're not doing their foie gras Friday, so I have a couple left and after we're done tonight, I'm going to redo it again. Okay. And, okay. And, and we've checked it over. We think we're within the legal bounds and I, I'm not pretending to be an employee. If anybody asks, I say things. I just welcome people and offer them a vote. Okay. Her, her major concern actually is the picture of her husband. You know, one of the people that is asking if we can be with his name directly right. attached. Yeah. She expressed some genuine concern for her safety and for her family's safety because of that. Not necessarily. Did, did she expect a, a, a certain incident where there was any kind of threatening verbiage or action? No, she said she didn't say that you guys were threatening with her directly or hadn't said anything directly to her. She's just expressing overall concern about it. The identity of her husband uh, put in a pamphlet like this that she's fearful of some retaliation possibly coming to her or family or business directly. So, I, I know that you just mentioned that you're intending on redesigning this pamphlet in your future. Uh, do you know if that redesign might include also a photograph as well? Or well, is this I, something maybe that we could be done with and, and not continue? Uh, I suppose a sense of fear for one part. I think next week I have a meeting with my board of directors before our next demo. I'm happy to discuss the issue with them. I'm happy to uh, discuss the issue with our legal team to make sure we're on, you know, good footing with that as right. far as what we're saying in the flyer and having. So I, I'm happy to review it. I, I'm not going to say, you know, right now that it, it's not going to be on there. Um, I, I, we, you know, we've reviewed it. I don't think it's. Jen, are we breaking any laws by putting that on there? No, we're not. The Supreme Court test for whether something is a true threat is whether you're expressing an intent to commit an act of violence against a person or persons. Right. And we're not. We're just taking the same information that's all over the internet. I mean, he has his picture on the internet. He has sure. his address and name on the internet. And so we're just doing exactly the same things that he's doing. And right. we think a, that a person's that's protected face is, by the is not protected when you're out in the public. Is. I mean, I think we can all agree yeah. upon that itself. Um, and, and that's not her concern that she expressed to me that, that his face is printed, right? Because as you mentioned, it's on the website, right? Her, her concern is the content in which it is printed, that it might stir up some other heartfelt feelings from other people, and that might take it to the nth degree beyond just protesting in front of the establishment, which she's totally okay with. And I'm certain she's come out and talked to you guys, and, had cordial conversation. I've never been called out here because of a disturbance or a dispute that we need to get ourselves involved in. So both sides, you and, and them, have always acted like adults. Okay, right? uh, although you guys might have different opinions as far as the behavior of one side and the other side. But I mean, you guys have been all adults. I, I think we can both agree. And just ask people to, to tell them that they don't, that they, they, they don't like any surprise. Okay, right. That, that's fine. Right, that, that might be the case. Like I told you before, the reason why I'm coming to you is because she expressed some, some heartfelt concerns about this. So, this has been addressed by the federal courts and asked her to feed people for the ethical treatment of animals. Peter did an expose on a chinchilla farm, and then they published a pamphlet that had the outer clerk's name, contact information, including their home address and their pictures. And Peter has been
things on their website saying that they support direct action. They've given money right. to people who have committed direct actions. And the federal court still found that that was protected by the First Amendment. And so we think right. that we're well within the bounds. And, and certainly I haven't told anyone here to cease and desist printing this. I mean, that you can certainly say that I haven't discovered those words. We also have, I have we also have I, and I think Heather knows, we also put up posters around the neighborhood that are similar. I haven't seen the time I walked my bus in the so I, I, I guess maybe the goal in mean, talking to you right now is maybe to facilitate, but maybe to encourage you and her, or you and the business rather, or your organization, to continue open lines of communication. Maybe not necessarily regarding the protest, because you guys probably are going to protest and something. I, I, I told them that there are other companies, and actually, weeks ago, I gave Scott a really nice letter offering to meet with him and not even talk about Frog Rod, that I just wanted to hear his side of it and maybe sure. learn about things on his menu and why he chooses things on his menu and why he chooses that supplier over another. And I offered, and he agreed, but it's been six weeks and he hasn't found time in his schedule. And when Heather came out and talked to me about that, I'd say, you know what, I've been waiting all year long. I'd love to come and have a nice conversation. With him. I will just listen. And that's, you know, but she didn't want to do that. And she came out and she tried to distract me from trying to organize my activists. And I told her, you know, this just isn't the time. Like, I want to meet with you guys. Nice, quiet environment. I want to listen. So maybe you can encourage her. She really has concerns about that. Like, you know, meet with me and I'll listen. Okay, yeah. And, and I'll certainly go back and tell you that, um, that you're, you're willing, that you're actually wanting to meet with them. And, and I think the idea behind the picture is that when Quinn promotes Squad Rock, it's Scott conversations he loves it he thinks his suppliers are great he, he, he stands behind everything it is yeah and so if he's going to take that stance then he should stand behind it then he shouldn't be concerned about you know having his picture because he, he does advocate for it he does stand behind it and right. then he should have no problem with everybody knowing oh, that if he's worried about okay. people knowing that and thinking that he's I'm not a good guy, then maybe you shouldn't sell it. Yeah, sure. If people question it. That's what we're trying to drive home the point that a lot of people don't think this stuff is okay. Yeah. Right, and that's the other power. I mean, of course, that's what I started. Of course. And, and I totally understand. And Narn, I mean, we, we are entirely involved in the organization. We do, we do peaceful demos, we do things. Yeah. So they, they have nothing to. Okay, well, I appreciate that. And, and I don't think. What this is, I, I don't think she's concerned about any people that she's going to <laughs> And we would never, we're very careful, we would never incite to somebody else. I can't control right. everybody in the world. But, of course. Um, okay, so I think I've conveyed my message to you via her, and I have no problem talking to her back. I appreciate your time. Um, let me go ahead and get your contact information uh, so that I can speak to my sergeant and not go on from there. Call it good for the sure. Show. And next time you stop by, I can give you the next version. The only other thing I wanted to ask um, yeah. is, and, and we've we've talked, and Jen would be better to talk to you about this, but we've talked to you guys several times about you know using the bullhorn, uh, and Quinn's has never voiced any concern about it. We actually haven't used it for weeks and weeks. We prefer quiet demos. It gives us.